So the first thing I like to do is divide my meat into two ounce segments. So this is a 16 ounce pack of meat. So I need to make eight evenly sliced segments. So once I get my segment sliced, I'm going to loosely pack um, each little segment into a, a loosely packed ball. You want it loose, you don't want it uh, tight, you want the meat to kind of break up a little bit. So before I put it on, I'm gonna season it. This is a Southern flavored seasoning. It's an all-purpose seasoning. You can find it at Winn-Dixie. Uh, I enjoy it. I'm gonna use some parchment paste paper pieces uh, just to keep the meat from sticking. But I'm gonna smash this in. I've got a nice flat spatula and I'm gonna smash it and I'm gonna pay attention to getting around the edges, the outside, because I want, like I said, I want that meat to kind of break off into these little uh, fragmented, scraggly little bits that are gonna get burnt and crispy uh, and are gonna really add some texture and some flavor to our lean meat uh, for our, our hamburger. So once it's seared for about a minute or 30 seconds even, you're just going to use a nice flat little griddle spatula and just scrape that meat off of the surface. Um, it's not gonna be a perfect job. This is a cast iron that isn't seasoned up very well, so mine's sticking pretty, pretty good. But you're just gonna scrape it up. The messier, the better. It doesn't matter, because that's just little uh, edges and crevices to hold your sauces. But once we're done, this burger is going to be about 100 calories um, less than a double cheeseburger at McDonald's, which I don't know if the last time you've had a double cheeseburger from McDonald's, but they're not very large. They're not near the size of this burger that we have. And ours is even less calories and much more protein. So this is just a way to get uh, a nice, healthy little cheat meal. If you're craving that burger, you know, it doesn't have to be a cheat meal.